Welcome to Chapter C7, Sustainability Management Control. That's of the textbook Sustainability Management. That's actually uh, one of two longer chapters. Uh, the last one was C6 on Sustainability Accounting, very much connected to this one here, and as well connected to the next chapter C8 on Sustainability Reporting. So let's have a look what you can expect from this chapter. After reading this chapter, you'll be able to do again a couple of things. Uh, first, you'll be able to explain the sometimes subtle differences between codes of conduct, management systems and the related management system standards. And there are also hybrid forms, as you will learn. You will learn that while codes of conduct are about what to do or what not to do also in organizational context, management systems provide guidelines of how to implement certain aspects of uh, sustainability and sustainability management standards then codify how certain sustainability or management systems or sustainability management systems should be designed and are certifiable. Hybrid forms and combination forms uh, of these uh, different elements do exist and you'll learn about a couple of them. Then you'll be able to differentiate various types of codes of conduct and critically reflect on their usefulness and applicability. You'll learn that codes of conduct provide instructions on what to do or what not to do in certain situations in, uh, in a company, in, in daily business. And they can be distinguished based on their issuers, who is the, so basically who's the actor behind the code of uh, conduct, um, can be distinguished um, regarding the nature of their content, so what's in the code, um, the target audience, so for whom is the code applicable, the breadth of the topics they cover, the level of voluntariness, um, and that any code has to be backed by further aspects of sustainability management to be effective so that they are not the one and only tool, basically. You'll then be able to illustrate the content of two examples of codes of conduct, very different ones, UN Global Compact and ISO 26000. The UN Global Compact and ISO 26000 are both multi-stakeholder codes of conduct, so they are not devised by a single organization, but in a larger process, and they are very different in terms of their depths and their overall approaches. You'll then be able to explain the general approach of management systems and related management system standards. And you'll learn that management systems introduce a so-called plan, do, check, act cycle to the whatever respective management areas that they cover. It can be environmental management systems, uh, social management systems, can also be quality management systems. That's not really in the core area of sustainability, but all these kinds of management systems do exist. And the respective standards provide guidelines for such systems. So how can they be implemented and um, how they are uh, certifiable? You'll then be able to illustrate the content of procedures of different of such management systems and standards, uh, ISO 14001 and EMAS for environmental management system standards, and SA 8000 as an example of social management system standards. Um, ISO 14000 and EMAS are very well known and widely used, uh, and SA 8000 is much less prevalent, but nonetheless pretty well known for social management. Um, and that one actually is one of these hybrids because it also includes elements of a code of conduct. You'll then be able to critically reflect on audits and certification processes. You'll learn that audits are checklist based control systems used to investigate compliance with certain issues here in this case, then management system standards. And you learn that the quality of audit processes might differ depending on various circumstances of the entire auditing processes. You'll be able to differentiate uh, different types of sustainability balance scorecard, sustainability balance scorecard as another element here of sustainability management control. A sustainability balance scorecard is a tool to integrate sustainability aspects into strategic planning of a company, building, as the name already suggests, on the well-known tool of a balance scorecard by Kaplan and Norton. And there are different types of sustainability balance scorecards that can be distinguished based on design of their hierarchy and of their perspectives. 
And you'll be able finally to outline the development of a balanced scorecard, a, such a sustainability balanced scorecard. So how can a company um, actually introduce such a balanced scorecard system? And you'll learn that to develop a sustainability balanced scorecard, the strategic relevant sustainability aspects of a business unit have to first be identified. And then um, there have to be uh, lagging and leading indicators in the different areas that need to be derived. As always, we have a couple of features here in this chapter again to illustrate the different aspects that we're discussing. The first one is a sustainability in business feature is about the responsible care program. That's actually an industry code of conduct in the chemical industry. The second feature on sustainability in business is also about codes of conduct, about codes of conduct in a company specifically, company codes of conduct, and in this case, we're we'll talking about the example of Enron and why codes of conduct failed actually at Enron, a very famous example of a company going bankrupt due to mispractice. Then we have a sustainability in research feature by King, Lennox and Tellac, their article on ISO 14001 certification. So that was the environmental management system area. Will that have an uh, idea or get an idea of the of a management system at Vylan? That's a um, company that's building uh, heating appliances. They have uh, an integrated management system called SEEDS. That's our sustainability in business feature number three in this chapter. And the final one is about the case of the Ali Enterprises in Pakistan. That was the case of a sustainability accountability 8000, so an FA 8000 certificate uh, that was issued and still there were um, drastic um, mismanagement, unsafe practices and there was a catastrophe um, at that company despite the certification of an SA 1000 social management system.